hello friends welcome to the channel it simplified in today's quick video on azure wbd i will show you how to publish quickbooks in your environment so i've been using the same infrastructure that i've been using for the entire wbd track uh, so nothing unusual so if i can go under my windows virtual desktop and if i go under the host pool i have the same host pool with the name ddhp and in this one, I have uh, one session host with the name TD0, right? So that's what it is. I will be publishing QuickBooks on the same and giving access to user. So with this, I've already initiated the RDP session on DD0. So, and uh, what you need to do is uh, you need to download the QuickBook executable file. And uh, for the sake of time, I've already run this. So what you need to do after you have downloaded that file, you just need to run it and uh, it will be there and you'll be provided with an icon so what you need to do is you need to grab the path for this so if i can go on the quickbook icon and go under the properties now that's the path that we need to provide the file path on the azure site and i'll show you in a moment so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to copy this and go back to the azure site and if i can go under application group will be publishing under the remote application group. I'm going to expand this under manage, go to applications, go and click on add and application source. I'll pick the file path, give the application file path here. I'll just remove this uh, inverted commas. That's why you got the red line under the access name application name i can name this quickbooks simple and easy so that your users can understand icon path again i'll give the same path everything you can leave that to the default you can give a description or maybe accounting everything is default and you can click on the save button that's it right uh, so what i've done is uh, for the sake of time again i've already done this so you can see that uh, my application name is quickbook and what i'm going to do is under assignments i'll add uh, one more user i know that there is a user with the name dd3 select it and add this user so that he can access this application so this user has been given access so let's go and test this out if i can go to my wvd client i'll provide the credential Okay, I can set up the authentication with my phone. Hopefully it will verify. Click on finish. And here you go. I have the QuickBook icon here. Let me just go and click on this. It should ask me to log in again.
here you go it's logging in and i need to do a bit of more setup and this user can do this from here because this is just a trial version that is why you see this so this is how you can publish application in this case i used to uh, QuickBook, for example, because this is one of the most commonly used applications by a lot of our customers. Hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.